Hey guys, Sonia Soy Sasa Sasa, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So, today we are doing a cigar sent over by Peter the Cigar Collective. And uh, this is the The Los Angel TAA 2023. Yeah, you can see the, the, the words are really hard to read, so it is what it is. Um, big thanks to him to fill. One of the cigars that I didn't uh, really look into for TAA because a lot of time we look into some like stuff that interests me. This one kind of escaped me, I think. So never got to buy it or never decided to buy it. But let's look at the cigar really closely and then we'll get to smoke without wasting too much of your valuable time. The Crown Head Los Angel 2023 is a 6x54 Toro Extra. Uses Ecuadorian Sumatra Hybrid C9 wrapper. The binder is Ecuadorian Sumatra binder. And the filler is from Dominican, Mexican, and Nicaraguan. MSRP is 1350 in a box of 20, limited to a thousand box TAA. So you can see this one has a little bit of damage on the side, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Cap is relatively okay, and the bottom, yeah, it's okay. The feeling on this cigar is very oily and rough and like sandpaper kind of feel so and the only way to read the band is like under the light because it's black on black all right we'll get started then all right with that being said let's get started hmm it's just like a sweet woodsy smell. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I don't want to cut too much because the cap, I don't want it to damage it. Crown hair cigar, you never know. It's like a mushroom, mushroom and leathery woodsiness. All right. A lot of bits. Woodsiness, leatheriness, uh, a little bit earthiness. A little bit of, like marshmallow sweetness. Pepper, spice. Uh... Yeah, it's like a really spicy red pepper that's like tingling the tip of the tongue. Mm. 
Interesting. A little bit of saltiness too. I also taste a little bit of like a metallic taste to it. Like a little, just a little bit. It's a little bit of like that. Hints of like green pepper. Green bell pepper. I don't know. All right. Let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. First third. It burns really wonky. I had to fix it a couple of times, but it's crown head. Takes back, you know? Um, tastes pretty good. It's like a peppery, marshmallow like sweet, grand cracker flavored, woodiness, earthiness. It's kind of interesting for what it is. It doesn't really taste like what it's supposed to be, but it's nice and sweet and dessert like it's got a lot of flavor um i was kind of also expecting that mushroominess but it kind of dissipate into that earthiness so i guess mushroom earthy yeah not too bad not too bad other than the burn wonkiness and stuff like that and the little tough draw i don't think this is the best i got right now so i might have to pull a uh, Excalibur out of this thing, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe I don't have to pull it, so we'll see. Right back. Second third, of course, pull out Excalibur. So now it burns evenly. It's nicer. Right away, though, after I pull that out, the the flow is better. You can feel it. This cigar is about a medium plus to full, medium plus to full. But it also provided a little bit more flavor. Now it tastes a little bit of espresso, tastes a little bit of like a dankiness, tastes a little bit of mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Um, that Mexican characteristic and a little bit of that Nicaraguan characteristic that I'm tasting. So actually gets better. Right now it's better in my opinion than that first third. But the strength, it's a little bit worrisome. Make me slow down. All right, TAA 2023 band right here. Nothing special, nothing. Oh, it's really thick paper. And then I really like this band. I like how it's like black on black. It's just really hard to read, but black on black is really cool. And it shows nicely on camera, just not in like person. It's like, oh, I can't read for shit. But on camera, you can see reflection. So it's a lot easier to read. I like that. I like that. The last angel. Crown head. Make sure you know it's crown head. So... I like that. So that's last stir. I'm gonna slowly smoke through this because it feels like it's creeping up slowly on the strength. So we'll see where that goes. But right now it's not bad. Not bad. Ooh, yeah, it's a little bit of like molasses, espresso, maybe mocha kind of fl flavor going on right now. It's actually not bad, not bad. So let me smoke the last stir. Be right back. Ooh, that's the last stir. So it's really good. I mean, um, that little bit of chocolate, espresso, uh, nuttiness, uh, woodsiness, a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of pepper kind of hit the spot. It's actually pretty good of a cigar, surprisingly for a crown head. But, you know, first you had to get out ex Excalibur, you know. So I want to say this cigar is enjoyable. The strength, uh, you know, is creeping up slowly from medium plus to a full, but by the time I finished it, it never really reached full. So I wouldn't say it's too strong, but it is a little strong. With that being said, it's pretty good. It's pretty good for what it is. I'm going to give this thing $12, 12 and a half, maybe. Not bad. Yeah, 12 and a half. The only reason I didn't give uh, MSRP is because the strength. Uh, and also the first third and obviously take some point out of this. And uh, other than that, I think it's pretty good. I mean, if you got like a perfect one, then yeah, I, I guess you can probably get to 13. 
But I gotta be fair here. You know, some of the little problem uh, experience and you know, overall, you gotta take some and leave some, right? So twelve dollars, I think that's good. Maybe twelve fifty. Not a bad cigar. I could, I could definitely recommend some people to try this. It's not bad at all. I liked it. I smoked it through the whole thing, enjoyed it. Slowly, slowly. I uh, can't can't really smoke this too too fast because if you smoke too too fast, it will catch you. It will catch you. All right. So that being said, big thanks to Peter sending me this cigar, the Cigar Collective, and uh, you know I got to try a TAA that I wouldn't otherwise go try. Uh, I don't know why I didn't get it. I feel like I did get it, but somehow I didn't. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, I'm glad I got to smoke a cigar that I actually enjoy. Because I feel like there's more cigars that I smoke that I didn't enjoy as much than the cigar I get to enjoy. And this is one of the ones I enjoyed. Even though it's a crown head. I'm not really a big crown head fan, but when I review a cigar, I got to be fair and not like, oh, because I didn't like this brand or I didn't like particularly this whole range of cigars, I'm not going to give a fair score. So got to give a fair score. So that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. You know, hopefully, and continue to add up. I, I think some of you probably start to see uh, cigar review being put out. I reviewed quite a few uh, over the last week. I'm just slowly... Uh, editing them put them together so that you can see it all right so i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys